Our Susan Langdon is here. <laughs> here because you know City Line has really made a name for itself for embracing new designers mm -hmm. and that's what the Toronto Fashion Incubator is all about. That's right. For those who don't know how does it work because other cities have really started to model what TFI is doing. Absolutely Tracy well first of all it's a thrill to be here thank you so much. Um, Toronto Fashion Incubator is an award-winning non-profit organization. Yep. It was developed by the City of Toronto back in 1987. Okay. And the first fashion incubator in the world. That's amazing. Now copied by London, Paris, New York, Milan, and about 30 other cities around the world. So it's a nice little feather in our cap yes. to say that it started here in Canada. I think it's amazing and I think it's incredible the amount of respect it gets because there, there is a huge amount of talent in this country um, and they're looking for ways to find support to get their labels in stores so that we can all purchase them. That's right. We want to be able to support them but that launch is tough and that's what, you, really that's what you help them with. Yeah, we help creative people um, understand the business side of fashion. Right. So whether you're uh, apparel designer, accessory designer, want to sort of uh, fashion blog and make money from it, yeah. uh, open a retail store, people come to us and we give them the advice and guidance and we have different programs to help people out. That's very interesting. Uh, you know, I just started a label with Frida's and right. the business side is mind boggling. Like learning all of that, all of the things you need to know about fabrics and volume and price points and there's a lot of stuff. So I'm sure they really need your help. Um, you just had an event which happens every year mm -hmm. and it's your new labels event. What happens at this event? Well, new labels is I what I call the original project runway yeah. because we've been running it for 24 years so it's think of that concept it's a national design competition where we put a call out to up-and-coming uh, Canadian designers yeah. they submit sketches we have a pool of judges who get together and then you know from a let's say 12 or 20 designers it gets whittled down to eight and then six and then the final four and mm -hmm. the final four make it to the runway show that we do every year mm -hmm. and then that night there's a live judging and one person walks away with $25,000 cash and a feature in Flair magazine. Not bad. Not okay, bad. so a feature in a top Canadian fashion magazine, uh, $25,000 cash prize that they can use to help market or launch their line and get it out there. That's right. So we actually have the label that just won the most promising new label award that is donated by Suzanne Rogers. Mm -hmm. um, and it is Peggy Sue collection. That's right. So she, you know, the competition was tough. She won. We've got a couple of pieces from her line, which I love that knit. Like there's something very luxe about it. Tell me a little bit about what Peggy Sue Collection is all about. Well, uh, Peggy Sue Collection, uh, which is uh, designed by Peggy Sue um, Devin Smil Smiltniks, everything is locally sourced. Nice. So she works with farmers that shear the sheep. Oh, wow. And then spinners who spin the yarn. Oh and gosh. people who, and she designs the textile weaves and works with weavers. All of that's done here in Ontario. That's which incredible. Is incredible, I know. So um, this coat, for example, is um, handmade. It's uh, made from alpaca wool. It's got felt trim. Wow. All the all the colors that you see here, this yeah. is natural. It's not dyed. Oh my so goodness. So the, the sheep was like that caramel color. Oh my you know? goodness. Um, and so it's really quite interesting. Like it's a very sort of. Um, farm to fashion concept if you if you will see I can understand why she won because she's got that concept but she also has this beautiful creative design so when you walk into the store and you see an original label and there's lots of zeros behind the number that's why she's working with the farmer that is shearing the sheep <laughs> they're not even dying the, the wool like that is wool. incredible the amount of detail give her a hand she look, you look amazing so good oh my gosh Okay, let's see another look now. Like knowing all of that detail, it, Susan, it really does help, I think, to, to really inform people because we've seen that movement happening with decor, we've seen it with food, we're seeing it with fashion now. Absolutely. People want to get back to earth when it comes to their fashion. Now, is this a jumpsuit? Um, it is. Oh. It's a onesie. Wow. Um, all hand, and hand knit and machine knit. 
um, and you just kind of slip it on, slip it off. Yeah. And uh, it's worn under this beautiful sort of loose cardigan car coat nice. uh, with the fringe detail. Again, everything is not dyed. Like that's the color of the sheep. Yeah. And um, you know, Peggy Sue designs the, the textile patterns. In this case, she worked with, she picked three heritage um, um, I guess textile okay. samples yeah. and, and pieced it all together. So it's amazing. And Do you know the to... amount of hours that go into a piece? I, no, I don't even. I don't even want to know. I like know, she, that's a long time to do each true. piece. But you know, I just want to show on the back. There's a little horn detail on the button. Yeah. Do you want to turn around and we can see a little bit of that? The button is carved from a naturally shed antler. Oh, wow. So no animals were harmed in the, the making of these garments. Beautiful. Peggy Sue, you do us proud, and Susan Langdon, keep doing what you're doing.